What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, that's Mike, and we're talking The Walking Dead, episode 12, season 8. 12, yes. Uh, the key, right? What is the it? The key. The key. Are you the key master? I'm the gatekeeper. Are you the key master? <laughs> um, yes. What do you think? Uh, this is this was a better I... episode. This was a better episode than the, than yeah. the, the past few. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it it wasn't it wasn't great. It wasn't great. I'm I'm dis. You know what? I've I've resigned myself, Mikey, to be like, mm. I'm a, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed, and oh, wow. and you know I, what? I, I'm gonna. It's okay. It's okay to yeah. be disappointed. It's okay. That's I okay. still like the show, but I just it's it, it's been going down the fear of the Walking Dead path, and I don't like it. But in what way do you think that? Just dumb dumb things man dumb dialogue dumb situations dumb dumb okay. reactions like it's just like it it just it's and and i'm sorry but even especially after watching the season one like we did when we went back on the rewatch the react rewatch uh, or whatever yeah. called it. i mean the, i'm <sighs> i i mean listen i understand i understand the, what you're saying for me go ahead no no go go ahead go ahead just gonna say i'm tired of this cut to two characters let them talk Cut to another two characters, let them talk. Cut to another two characters, let them talk. Play ominous music as someone drives by. Like it's the same formula, and it's so mm. it's getting that stuff is getting boring. This one, however, yeah, you know, had that. It did in the beginning. It had some of that. Don't get me wrong. That you know, the Rick and Daryl conversation, although super brief. It was good to see those two characters talking because exactly. we never do. Exactly, exactly. But you know, I, and that's just the, that's that's like the gist of it for me. But look, like I said, well, I'm, I mean, I'm a, on a little bit different of a level of of likeness of this episode. I actually, it it's it's funny because I wrote down when you get the best characters, the best actors, you get the best episodes. True. I mean, yeah, that's you know a what good I mean? point. They put the so, better. Yeah, this was yeah. I'm not going to sit here and say it's a five out of a, out of a five. When we did our review stuff, I was never one of those guys that would jump to making a perfect episode or a plus episode. But listen, right. I have gripes too. We were talking a little bit about them. We'll get to that at the end, but you know, it, it was probably the, my favorite episode of the season. Uh, yeah. Just because of what I said in the beginning is that yeah. we got the best actors and everything together. I can understand where you're coming from when you say that we're getting a couple, you know, some some character dialogue, then it jumps to somebody else, then it jumps to somebody else. Everybody is always separated. And let's get into the Daryl stuff that you kind of started saying, but Rick and Daryl, uh, Rick arrives with Michonne, mm -hmm. and two seconds later, Rick is gone again. Yeah, <laughs> he's by himself. <laughs> and then he goes rogue, which I liked much better than when Daryl went rogue and fucked everything up because I like to see Rick on that mission now. Yeah. I, well, didn't, I, like I didn't, I didn't anticipate that. That was at, like, at first I'm like, what is he doing? Cause I guess he was supposed to alert everybody by right, yeah. honking the horn or something. Right. Yeah. 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 But I like Rick like this because there's an agenda because of Carl, I didn't like Rick well, when he was hallucinating in the prison and seeing, right. You know, I didn't like warped, rick but i still like no, this is rick revenge is in, rick this is legit mode. revenge rick yeah but that's but the, therein lies the problem though and mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. and we'll get out we'll get into the fight in one in one more minute yeah. but i just to touch on what you said you're right it's when they have everybody and this has been the mo for the past you know two seasons let's split everybody up but it's it's, it's not even two dude it's Oh, it was always. Yeah, I it, everybody. Well, it everybody became, was always it became separated. like that. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like the farm stuff, the prison stuff. Glenn is here. Maggie's here. The whole fifth season or whatever it is with Terminus is everybody's trying to get to Terminus or was that the fifth? Whatever. That, yeah. Uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, sometimes everything merges it together, but blends. yeah, it's just like no one is ever really together longer than a couple episodes or something it seems and it's just like come on and hopefully with the all-out war plot coming to fruition we're gonna see everybody together because obviously we need everybody to get it to fight you know but let's get into the fight what so you, okay so my thoughts on the fight yeah. opened up really strong i mm -hmm. loved 
seeing Negan on the run. When it cut back to him in the on the ground surrounded by the wreck, I was like, oh, dang. He gets up, and then Rick, for some reason, you can hit a zombie at 100 meters away with one bullet in the head, <laughs> but you can't hit one man. He's, he's a cop too. He must have been. He must have, yeah, he must have been. Uh, I guess that's why Rick had um, Shane teaching everybody how to shoot. But the thing Rick... is, but the thing is, like he unloaded, unloaded, reloads, mm -hmm. and then drops the gun. Yeah. And, what are and, you? What are you dropping the gun? I mean, it didn't seem like it was I out of bullets to no me. More, he had no more. He He only had the python left, I think, because that's when he like. But shot maybe he. I didn't hear the gun go. Anyway, the point is. Whatever. And then and then he runs up the stairs and he's like, "Come on!" And I was like, "Oh, don't!" He's got the high ground, Rick, and he chucks the the hatchet. Oh, that was like one of my favorite fucking but, Rick scenes. Right. And Rick then attacks. and then he goes to hit him and he drops. And I was like, "That's good." And then what does it do, Mike? And then it cuts to the next the twelve minutes. Yes. Yes. Rehashing the same oh. dialogue. I'm sorry. It was. It's been about three, four, five mm -hmm. times now. I agree. The, the same agree. dialogue between them, and I'm like, I'm, we we already fucking know. Mm -hmm. I'm you're not. I could have saved you. You can't mm -hmm. save me. I could have saved you. The yeah. only thing different was that he's the one that let the the the, the cat out of the bag about what um, the scavenger, what Simon did. That Simon did. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed. Uh, um, I agree with you completely. It's it's very it's very much the same dialogue. There was one thing where it's like. Uh, your people aren't Rick is like your people aren't coming for you. You're all alone. You think that yeah. you know whatever you think your people like you kind of a thing. And I just like the way that they were taunting each other. Well, yeah, even though they were going down these endless maze of uh, what kind of building were you? What the in? hell were you? <laughs> were you in a fucking <laughs> harvest maze for like? What is this I know Halloween or something? I know what is it's the fall like, festival and they get lost in the harvest maze? They see you see like. Negan walking down, then making a left and turning this way. Then you see Rick going this way, making a right, making a left. And then they, they, I, I was, I, you know, it was funny. But listen, I, I don't want to get on the episode too much because, like I said in the beginning, I really enjoyed it. But it was cool to see these actors together finally. Um, you know, the fight was a little crazy with the bullets and the shooting and the stormtrooper aim and all this kind of stuff. But but then you have him fighting. But then, but then, and then, okay, wait. Then it gets a little bit better. Where he, he's first of all finding Lucille is ridiculous because if Negan dropped it, it would have just been like right by his hand. I don't, I don't understand how he I lost know. it. But he lost, loses it. Rick finds it and he's like, yeah, he lights it on fire. Yeah. Which I was like, yeah. And he's like, you don't touch her. And then yeah. he's, and then <laughs> he's hitting the zombies and like, then it got a little silly. Then it got a little silly. They're throwing zombies at each other and they're fighting through zombies and. Yeah. tackling each other like it was like if you were that if you were that focused on killing someone rick you wouldn't let him get up like you 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 ripped a guy's throat out with your bare teeth yeah are you and that was just for like because he said he was gonna kill your son yeah now you got a man that's killed not only is your son dead you have so many other of your friends dead and this is you're just gonna tackle him and let him get away like it was like I'm just tired of this, and I know they have to stretch it, but I'm like, then don't have them fight if you're gonna pussyfoot around the or, fucking fight or, or develop it in a different way. Like what? it was just so. Then he gets out of the, he gets out the window, and then, and then the next thing we know, he's in a car with with um a uh, dirtbag with, with Jadis at the end. But before we, before I know before we get to that, I don't want to forget this, but yeah, one. What was Negan's plan altogether is to get this guts on on oh. you. If it gets in your eye, you might end up like. And how did he real... not get anything when exactly. the car flipped over? The, he has. <laughs> and you're going to tell me he didn't get one single scratch yeah. in that car accident? The car's Nothing. on the side. Rick did. Rick's got blood right. coming down yeah. his head. And and he didn't even and he didn't even flip over. And you had a Home Depot bucket. <laughs> Open bucket. Full of guts and blood. Get the hell out of here, man! It's so. so I just thought that's that what was I'm a little, saying, dude. That's I what I'm that saying. Was a little like, odd. Those are I just mean, dumb, dumb things. Like, like you think no one would notice that? Like, you didn't think anyone would pick up on that? And it's like, uh, I, and, and Rick hit, um, Rick hit him in the shoulder. Yeah, he hit him hard too. He swung full force. You tell me that's his... not gonna rip the that pleather jacket? Come on, that's not real leather. So, yeah, well. The Fonzie jacket is invincible. I think they said that on Talking Dead. But oh yeah, it's 
it, it, some things were ridiculous. And um, like you said, with the Jadis stuff at the end, I was actually surprised it was Jadis. And we'll kind of get to that. It's more in a sweet quite, flannel. Yeah, I, exactly. So I'm, I'm hoping that her that her whole scavenger persona is gone and her dialogue, uh, the way she speaks, is gone. But we'll get to that a little bit at the end because I want to ask you a couple of things about that. Sure. Um, but did you think at first I was thinking it was going to be the girl that escaped Dwight? The one that knew Dwight turned on his men, that we we don't know where she is. Remember when Dwight killed his men and joined yeah. our group? Yeah. There was the one girl. I forgot her name. I was thinking it was gonna maybe be her. Wait, where? Um, in the car, because at first oh, you just see oh, Megan. Oh, 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 right. And you yeah, don't know yeah, who's yeah. driving. So mm -hmm. I thought that would have been kind of interesting because obviously she knows what Dwight did. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm over it. That's it, that. No one, yeah. nobody even remembers. That's how Dwight got where he is. Nobody remembers but you. Oh. <laughs> All right. No, no offense. I'm just saying, like that. That people this, remember. This is right in your like, comment. Right in the comments. Yeah, prove me wrong. But I'm saying that. Whatever. So yeah. Um, right. Do we kill that enough? Do we just? Yeah. We I mean, I don't want. I, I don't want to. I don't want to go through it. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was half cool, half silly. It. it you know. Yeah. I just it wish was it was always. More, but, Exactly. What exactly. about um? Uh, so you want to do Simon Dwight kind of stuff? I mean, uh, I wrote let's talk a couple about them real quick. All right. So, I will say this. Yes. A little drawn out, but I I enjoyed how Simon approached talking to Dwight because, first of all, Dwight Dwight doesn't actually care anymore. He's just he's yeah. basically like I'm back with these morons. I have to find. I, you know, he's thinking I got to find a way to get away. Number mm -hmm. one, number two. Simon obviously, he's done. Simon's like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not Negan. I'm, I want to do what I want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. But before, he needs to know what allies he has. And I get that. And he didn't outright ask him, but he did. So, he was smart and had a, yeah, he right. was smart so the way I he I like that. So I was into that. And yeah. I, although what's funny is that Dwight did just, that's my, that's what I mean by Dwight just doesn't care because he just wasn't into it. He's just like, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. He's like, of course I do. Of course I hate the guy. He yeah. took my wife and he burned my face. What, what the hell do you think, dumbass? Like that was a that was good. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was all right. You know. I guess it shows he's trying to see, you know, like he's like who's loyal to him and stuff like that. But it's well, he knows because Simon knows that Dwight, and already, he, he already he, knows yeah. he feels that way. He's Simon's yeah. not a Simon's a very astute person, and he's able to read people. And he knew for a long time that Dwight, that's how he feels. But that's why he yeah. didn't outright have to ask him because he already knows. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy how. But you, he just you, assumed, though. That's true. It, the 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 biggest thing I got out of it is is just Simon's evolution in the last couple episodes to where he's he's worse than Negan really is at this at this time. You know what I mean with the with the scavenger thing and and now with this, which is very similar to the scavenger. Yeah, well, Simon's thing because, a real thug, though. See, that's the thing. That's yeah, the difference Simon, between Simon and yeah. Negan is that Negan Negan's a sociopath. But he's a calculated one. Like he, he's not a megalomaniac. He's well, maybe he is. But everything, it really does have a purpose. Like he, he needs to be this specific person. Simon yeah. just wants to wreak havoc and and have the biggest balls. That's it. Yeah, I mean, he obviously he he disagrees with what how Negan's running things. Yeah. He calls, you know, he says that they're mistakes. And when he finally comes back after the end, it was it was interesting how. They just decide, oh well, oh, well, there's blood in the car. It must be Negan's blood, or you know, even though Dwight, yeah, like yeah. Dwight's like, well, he did have a bucket of blood, and you know, yeah. So it was just, I, it's funny that both of them uh, didn't go after Negan, and I, I obviously that we understand why. Um, but now there's a different kind of attack planned on Hilltop and and our survivors that uh, you know Simon's going to enforce now. And well, has Simon, back. Simon just has. wants to do what he wanted to do, which is wipe yeah. them out, like he did the, yeah. the junk, the junk ball people, the yeah. garbage face people, garbage pail people, the garbage pail kids. Whatever. Anyway, yeah, that was yeah. good. I, I mean, I, yeah, that was some good stuff, and yeah. obviously that's setting up for the rest of the season. What's going to happen? Yeah. Um, so the next thing that we have is uh, it was ladies' night. That's right. It was ladies' night. They. Uh, were they trying to get her to? Was it? Was she? Are they trying to make her seem like she's showing? Because Mike, it's pissing everybody off. She should be showing by now. This is this is kind of bullshit. It's been over a, at least a, um, over a month. I think since they said, Glenn's I, been killed. I think they said she. It would be about 
two or three months. And I'm sorry if you hear my crazy dogs upstairs. That's all right, man. Because listen, um, she would be showing. <laughs> Maybe a bit. I didn't notice that they were. Well, you you think that you might have seen them because the to... shirt, her shirt was untucked and and it was like a, like you know billowy a little. And so it's like, are know. they trying I... to make it seem like she's untucking her shirt now because normally she did have it tucked in, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. The point is, I don't know. Whatever. That's a thing. Um. What I didn't. What I. What I thought was kind of again kind of dumb. And, mm. it, and this was just to get Maggie to do something. Maggie went on this little jaunt. When yeah. meanwhile you're the leader of the community. Why would you do that? That's true. I mean, it, it's, I guess in that scene, because obviously the scene you're talking about is when we, when we meet Georgie, okay? Georgie and, and Patricia uh, and pickles. Mid, no, mid, Midge, Midge and, and Geffen. Uh, something, something. Uh, I don't remember their names. <laughs> I don't remember the name either. I know it was Midge or something, but it's just, I think it was just more set up to show that, the, how powerful the women the, the, the women are in our group and that um yeah, but no one doubts they, that no one ever that, doubts that yeah but i mean i just i never it, doubted it was, that it's like a girl power it's thing. fine look that's fine like i said yeah like i agree that's fine and 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 you know i i have a theory about this georgie person yeah uh it, it doesn't it doesn't have to do with the comic so Oh, really? A, yeah, it doesn't have to do with the comic. Okay, because obviously, I mean, I'm not as far as you in the comic book to where there's a lot of theory going around about her, but yeah. I think some of the most interesting parts of this episode, probably the most interesting, is just the way Enid, Michonne, Maggie... Oh, yeah. You know, that kind of stuff, and how they're handling. We're seeing how Enid's kind of like a loose screw. Maggie's kind of handling things in a way that I don't necessarily like, but... I'm glad to see Michonne kind of talk sense in them, in, into the, both of them. And Maggie makes the deal with this new group, which right. at first I was like, oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. um, and Enid at the end, I liked how Michonne spoke with Enid. Um, I wrote it down. Um, there's got to be something after Michonne tells Enid. Because right, Enid's I like, have that conversation, yeah. About Carl. What would Carl want this and that? Would Carl, Carl, so you're saying that Carl would just want us to stop fighting Negan and all this kind of stuff? And Michonne's like, no, listen, stupid. You know? Like, of course, he would want us to defeat Negan. Right, We're yeah. going to fight we Negan. We've got to fight. We need to, we need to have something after. Perhaps, and that's kind yeah. of, and that kind of brings into this Georgie character. And I just thought it was cool after seeing it because we got some shitty communities that made no sense the scavenger thing i mean who knows what jadis and how she'll pay off but the, the the scavengers the oceanside people that we barely see i'm like here we go with another group right yep but the knowledge um for good stuff i thought was very um intriguing um let me ask you a question yeah why do you think that is because something we never seen it's no, something no, 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 kind no, no. of what i mean to say is why do you think they're introducing this into the show well, I mean, if it, without spoiling, I mean, because who knows? But there's a lot of idea do. going around. Well, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm being listen, a dick I'll, now. But it's the Commonwealth thing, and people no, are I, I, this is what her with the comic book. No, I, they're not. It's not the Commonwealth, and I'm going to tell you why. Because for obviously, for, for obvious reasons. The, the the Commonwealth in the comic book was not introduced like this at all, at all. And they looked they looked very much the same. No, they didn't actually because the comic. First of all, the Commonwealth uh, all have armor on, and these are just these are just like gorilla. They could change that no, a no, little let bit. Let me let me tell you let me tell you my theory. Right. Okay, before we t everyone else has their theory. This is my yes. theory. This right, is good. this may or may not be the Commonwealth. I don't think it's the Commonwealth because okay. number one, if it is, they're gonna have to do a lot of skipping. They're gonna have to now bring in. So that means no whisperers. That means so who are you fighting? Oh, you just first of all, that means that if they bring in the Commonwealth, that means they're they're gonna catch up to the comic. That's I mean, not I, – I don't think that that's something that they're going to do. Number one, there's a lot of story, and unless they're deciding, again, to cut all that out, to cut all yeah. the whispers, to cut out all the other stuff, to cut out – can they? <laughs> sure. They just killed Carl. So at this point, they, yeah. could, they could kill Negan, and I wouldn't be surprised. But here's the thing. Yeah. Oh, you know, I just thought they might kill Negan and then not do the whispers. 
Well, this is anyway, listen. Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Let me let me get to my point. M- m- my point is, <clears throat> she was brought in because we're going to have a time jump, and mm-hmm. after the time jump, we're gonna have everything build up. You're gonna have all these. You're gonna have all this stuff. You're gonna have everything that that woman said. The aqueduct, the grinding mill, this, that, the other thing. All of that is because of that woman. You get it? That's why she they're being introduced. I don't know if it's a Commonwealth. I hope it's not, but um, I don't think it's going to be this thing where they're gonna bring that in. It's gonna be that. I think what they're doing is it's a way to have viewers cope with the fact that oh now they can do this. Never yeah. mind having Negan flip over in a car full of um, zombie guts. Let's not worry about that. But mm-hmm. I think that they're, they're doing it to show viewers that when we come back, yeah, that, oh, they were able to get this done in record time because they had these plans. That's why they're there. That's why we're right. seeing Georgie. That's why they're getting these. Because not for nothing, Mikey, but if you really stop and think about it, oh, they're just she just happens to magically get this book now? Of how to set up their thing. Meanwhile, they're not even done. They don't even know the out. They could literally be wiped out tomorrow by the saviors, and they wouldn't know. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's a little like, all right, now it's a little hand over fist. They're like, here you yeah. go, everybody, I- I- meaning the viewers. Like, here you go, guys. Look what's good. Don't worry, they're gonna be fine. Also, n- not to mention, <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't know how far in advance they, they've shot this, but, I mean, look at the blowback, dude. It's been losing numbers constantly. I mean, granted, mm-hmm. it's still 8 million viewers, but that's it. But for it, it's been losing viewers every episode. And so I don't know how far in advance they shoot this stuff. Like, you know, could this be a reaction to fans, you know, to the fans? Could this be like, well, let's give them some hope now? Because they've because a lot of the criticism, I know I've been talking a lot, but this, a lot yeah. of the criticism was that the yeah. show is too dark now. It's It's gone down a road that people don't like. People, when when Glenn and um, Abraham were killed, people stopped watching. They just oh, flat yeah. out stopped watching because they didn't think it was going to go there. Why? I don't know. I don't know. understand why you didn't think a movie about zombies isn't a show about zombies isn't going to go to a, a dark place. But anyway, I digress. That's what it is. That's my that's my theory. I don't think it's Commonwealth. Whatever it is, that you know, it's it's a, it's a device to put them in the future to give them their future. I I agree to that. The thing is, like what you said about the ratings and things. I do think that by putting this out there, especially for the diehard comic book readers to, to maybe say, oh, wow, it is the Commonwealth. I'm not as far as you, so I haven't gotten to that part yet. But obviously, by doing what we do and having a channel and everything, I do a lot of research and I end up reading things that I obviously haven't read myself in the, in the book. But there were some things that Georgie said. Now, if you look at our Instagram, I put up a side-by-side and even though Georgie, I think her name is Pamela mm-hmm. um, on the comic, yeah. they're dressed similar with the pearl earrings. They're kind of like the vested, the 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 collared I know. jacket. I know. That's listen, what they listen, were listen, doing. listen, listen. Yeah. Right? Um, and there's a, a line that she says to Maggie, like, I don't know when I'll be back or I might not be back for a while kind of a thing. And I think that, like what you said, now they just seeded them. Now Georgie and these and these other two have seeded them. Yeah, that's they're not wearing armor, like in the. But those that's that's mine, like minor things that they could just change just for the show. Um, so that's my yeah. that's my reasoning, especially the I don't know when I'll be back kind of thing. So it's like, all right, it's like the the alien theory that they seeded the planet and said here's this human being let's see what you do kind of thing it, it's similar to that to where georgie just hands us the book and let's see what these people do with this yeah um you know so that's why i'm leaning toward it could be the commonwealth and maybe we won't see her for a while it's it's strange because i know that we do have the whisperer stuff and i could see them skipping it what if by the end of the season the Negan stuff is gone? Like you said, maybe they will kill Negan. Maybe he won't become what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, and I hope this you – know, we should put spoiler like logo stuff on this. But I hope um, – uh, you know, if there is a time jump, 
they could go into that and then we could see the Commonwealth part of it. But listen, I just thought it was cool. Like I said, that just someone having a book, someone, you know, and she said that the, the contents of the book were interesting as she talked about mm-hmm. medieval, um, uh, like uh, medieval all, triumphs it, and, and, yeah, and exactly. me, you know, mechanical stuff and building this and that. I just think it's, it's, it's a cool new way that we haven't really seen about rebuilding. There's got to be something after, and that really is – uh, truthful from what Michonne says in this episode is that it's got to be something other than just the fighting. Um, and it's a, like a tribute to what Carl wants. Yeah. So I th- just thought it was cool. Yeah. I mean, I, like I, I said, I mean, you know, you might be right. It might be the Commonwealth and, and we'll come back to it. And then, and yeah. then, and then it, she said, she said, it might not be now again, uh, mm-hmm. telling us what's going to happen basically like, Oh, it's not going to be now, but yeah, that might be, I won't like that. I'll be upset because, being ju- just being introduced to the Commonwealth the way they were, I enjoyed that a lot. Like it was like you know, I mean, it's a little annoying too. Not not for nothing, but having another no. here's another bigger community. What's going to be happening next? They're going to find a city, like a whole like well, metropolis. Isn't there, isn't like, there like fifty thousand? There's fifty thousand. Yeah, it's a lot. Something. It's a big. It's it's huge. It's huge. <laughs> it's, yeah, so that's fucking huge. Yeah, but that's my it's, point. Like, what do you yeah. do? Okay, like I don't know. Anyway. Kirkman yes. recently said that he has an he has an end for the for the series, but not the comic. I mean, but not for a long time. He says. Yeah. But anyway, okay. Um, so all right, this is we're getting a little bit long here, long of the tooth here. Uh, Mike, I know you got some questions for me. Why don't you lay lay those on me? Well, all right. Well, we kind of just got into the Georgie thing, bunch, so I, yeah. yeah, I won't really talk about that. But quickly, what will uh, what do you think Jadis is going to do with Negan? Where is she bringing him? What is she doing with him? What is she? I think she's point? gonna. I think she's gonna try and trade him to Rick. Probably. She's because that's all she knows. That's what she does. That's the deal. She likes to make deals. I agree. Mm-hmm. I think she's not gonna be Jadis anymore. Like she's not gonna be junk Jadis. Jadis. I think she's gonna be because she started. She lost that at the end there. The last time we saw her. So I think she's just going to be normal ish, you know, and as normal as she can be. And yeah, she's going to be like, I have this thing. Do you, what, what give me shelter or give me whatever. Yeah. I think, I think that could happen. I, 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 agree. I mean, he's not going to allow that. Obviously he's going to like kill her or something, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and lastly, something that bothered me throughout the episode, it was probably my biggest gripe is the commercials in yeah. the show. Now, I wrote them down because it was bothering me so much. Just when I was getting into the episode, just when I was seeing some scenes that I was really into, there was a commercial break. So Rick sees the caravan, commercial break. Rick um, uh, throws the axe, which was super cool. Right. Commercial break. Rick finds Lucille. There's a commercial break. Rick lights Lucille on fire. There's a commercial break. Yeah. So it's like, I know that sometimes you don't watch it live; that you watch the stream. Now, yeah, sometimes you... I watch it live, but sometimes I also uh, I, I I watch it on a service that doesn't have the commercials in it. Yeah, I'd like to maybe watch the sh- the. I mean, it's hard to to see if there would be any difference watching an episode I've already watched, but maybe watching a future episode that way to where it, it it's just like, dude, just when it gets good, well, it's you know, like. It's funny because you so you mentioned this to me and with this episode and I I wasn't even aware that there was a break between some of these things. So oh he throws God. the axe and then yeah. it immediately for me since it has no commercial it immediately went to the rest of the fight. And like I'm like so it was more con- like, it was, like it was well, continuous. Yeah, you could it's, it's, it's better to, yeah, like, I mean it's cuz it's ridiculous, but you do yeah. realize unfortunately that's how they it's written that way. And it sucks. They're written for commercial breaks for every tens and 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 here's here here like where the problem is oh yeah. let's cut the two characters talking for three minutes commercial mm-hmm. let's cut to another two characters talking commercial like yeah. I, I can't i can't i can't it, it if i ha- if i watched it most of the time with the commercials it would kill me like it would kill me and it's, it's rough just... because we're getting these episodes where they're like an hour and five minutes not even, I mean, not an hour of in five minutes of content, but just five minutes after, or eight minutes after, yeah, or six all for the commercials. After. But it, and it seems like, yeah, we're not really getting anything because this episode seemed to fly. We're not getting any extra content 
of The Walking Dead, they're just making the episodes longer to fill in more commercials. Yep. And last week it was McMafia, and this week it was the other one now they got. Um, I don't even know what the hell it's called. Another AMC, the, uh, what the fuck was it? I don't even know. Not even no, a big I'm deal. Watching it. <laughs> I'm sure everybody knows exactly what commercial I'm talking about because we saw it a thousand times. But it's just another series, and it just that, that was probably my biggest. That was my, my biggest. It ruins it you. for you, man. I know it ruins it for you. In the end, you know I what still you, should it. You, know you should do. You know what you should do, Mike. It. You know what you yeah. should do. Uh, you know, what? I'll tell you off camera. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um. Anyway, so all right. I look, think, this was a long yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, we did talk about. I mean, this was this was a good episode. I mean, I, yeah. I, I'm looking forward to seeing where now things are starting to heat up with freaking four episodes left. But you know. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just need, to, I need more. I need better. I need, it needs to be better. It needs to be better. And, 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 and I don't know. Um, well, so- <laughs> well, every- <laughs> and that, and so, and with that, yeah, of yeah. course, let us know how you guys felt. Yeah, of please. course, we always say, show us love in the comments. We always get our regular guys in there. So um, just, just keep writing in there and let us know how you feel. Uh, Instagram, we've been posting some cool stuff. We actually posted something about the Commonwealth in Georgie. So you guys can check that out right in the comments there also. And let us know what you think about about that. Uh, and don't forget to, uh, to check us out on iTunes and on Facebook as well. Yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching us. And we'll see you on the next OK episode of The Walking Dead. <laughs> Peace. Peace.